in this video i will be explaining about many to many relationships in database how you can design your own uh, database uh, with many to many relationships and uh, what are the good practices how you can achieve this so we can see that here are uh, two examples like one table is product table which holds uh, details of the products and there is another table user table which holds the details of the users let's suppose you are designing database for your e-commerce application and now what you have to do is uh, there is a feature called adding products to your cart so uh, each user can add multiple product to a cart and they can also also um, product can be owned by multiple user so this relationship is actually many to many relationships cause uh, may, uh, one user can own uh, multiple product and m one product can be owned by multiple users by default uh, Relational databases support one-to-one -one relationships, one-to-many relationships, but they don't natively support many-to-many -many relationships. Uh, for one-to-one -one relationships and one-to-many relationships, you have uh, multiple types of joins and foreign keys. But to achieve many-to-many -many relationships, you have to design your database in a certain way. I have created a cart table and it stores user ID, username, user email, product ID and product name and product price. So we can uh, we can get the details of which user is actually adding the product uh, in his cart. Okay, that's how we are. Uh, that's the main uh, point of creating this table. So let's suppose uh, this name Ishit. Ishit is buying three products: the earbird, monitor, and mouse, and adding these three products into the cart. So how we can store it inside our database? So first thing, this first table, first table will go this in this side. So under product ID, product name and price, we have our product and we have to add the user. So you can see that uh, we have achieved the many to many relationships right now uh, we can get the de uh, get the uh, items which is owned by Ishit or we can get the items which are added by Ishit uh, by just uh, running the query like uh, select star from cart table where uh, user email is equal to Ishit at the red gmail.com that's how we can get the cart details about the name uh, username Ishit. So it's pretty simple. And if let's suppose or it through like this, this name or it through username. Hmm. And let's suppose this username is adding uh, is a uh, is adding this mouse. Still, you can see that uh, like how we can get the uh, how we can get the uh, cart items of Oritro user. We just need to perform the same query, but uh, in the condition of where clause condition, we need to put the email ID of Oritro user. So this is uh, this is how you can. This is one type of achieving the many-to-many -many relationships. Right now, there is a problem with our table. We can see that uh, there is there are multiple redundant datas, right? So these three these three items, which is owned by Ishit or added by Ishit inside the cart, there are details for Ishit three times. So it's actually um, eating lots of spaces inside our databases. So we need what we need to do, we need to normalize our table. How we can normalize our table? So what you need to do is, you need to create a junction table. So what will be the junction table? We can name the junction table as same as the cart items. And inside the junction name junction table, we won't be storing the uh, all the details of products or all the details of the username. We will be just storing uh, the user ID, user ID, and product ID. First thing we need to do is uh, this user ID. This user ID will be a foreign key. Okay, this will be a foreign key, and this will be an also a foreign key. It's like the user ID will store all of the database of the user table. You can see that this is the foreign key. 
and the product key product key will store the reference of the product table for simplicity i'm just changing the colors for better understanding so right now we can see that uh, in our cart items we are we are not storing all the details of the users and user emails and products ID. we are just storing the ids right now uh, if if Irshit is by Irshit is adding three products into the cart that will be stored inside uh, so in what way it will be stored in our cart items first uh, the user id one user id one will have the cart item of one one will have the cart item of two and one will have the cart item of three. So the ID ID user ID one user ID one is adding product number one to its cart, two to its cart, and three to its cart. So we can see that this is our denormalized form. And this is our normalized. This is called a junction table. So what this junction table is doing, this junction table is actually storing the references of the other tables. Now we can see that uh, cart items is in one to many relationship with our user table and also one to many relationship with our product table. Okay, so now uh, if we get back to the design, uh, the data type of our cart items. Uh, so what will be the schema of our cart items? If we check the schema of our cart item. If we check the schema of our cart items, so it will store uh, user ID as foreign key, which will be the primary key of user table ID. And product ID will be foreign key, which is actually primary key of product, product table. So what is the primary key of our product table? Uh, it's also ID, the name of the event. Right now, I guess you are having a doubt. So what will be the uh, primary key of this table? So the primary key of this table will be in composite key. This user ID and product ID will make a composite primary key. So what is composite primary key? So what is a composite primary key is a tree when uh, more than one key is used to represent the uniqueness of a row. So this will be the schema of our cart items table. So how we can perform the query inside this uh, using this junction table. So if we need to, uh, if we need cart details of user ID one, we just need to write it in a way, select star from cart items and then we will be performing joins two times. First time uh, we will join using user table, uh, this one and uh, on key uh, cart items dot user ID you will be equal to the user ID which is primary key of the user table and another join will be on product table uh, on cart items product id when equals to product id's primary key this product id id and then we need to put the where clause and inside where clause we need to put uh, which user uh, which users cart items details we are we need it so there is a problem with this cart items table what the problem is uh, the more you add joins in your database table it makes your data less scalable Let's suppose uh, you are uh, you are storing data, uh, you are partitioning your data into multiple servers, and you need to perform and join. On that case, you may get latency issues. That's why normalized form is not always better. If your database, uh, if your data is sharded or partitioned among multiple data, uh, multiple servers, normalized form uh, won't be that uh, perfect solution for you. On that time, you will need your denormalized form again. So, uh, in our college or school, we always thought that normalized forms are always better, but that's not the case. Denormalized forms are always good for uh, when you are horizontally scale your data.